Hello guys, welcome into the channel. Today we are going to be making homemade cinnamon rolls, so let's go ahead and jump right in. You have to excuse my voice today for some reason, my voice is leaving me, so I'm going to try and get through this voiceover as best I can. All right guys, here you see me pouring up one cup of warm milk. And um, to the warm milk, I'm adding one fourth cup of sugar and two packs of quick rise yeast. I'm mixing it, giving it a little stir to go ahead and get it fully incorporated. And I'm going to let it sit and um, activate for about 10 minutes. I'm now going to transfer the yeast over into my mixing bowl. Into my yeast mixture, I'm adding my eggs and my butter. Here I have one egg yolk. I have one egg, the yolk and the white of the egg. I have one egg here. And I have half a cup of butter. I'm using unsalted butter. You can use salted or, I'm sorry, I'm using salted butter. You can use salted or unsalted. It doesn't matter, whichever one you like. I'm adding it in a little bit at a time. And I'm also adding in half a teaspoon of salt. Getting everything mixed in pretty well here. And then I'm going to add in my flour. Now I'm using four cups of flour, but um, I'm only going to mix in about three and a half cups right here. And I'm using the remainder of the four cups to dust my countertop when it comes time to roll out my dough. So that's what you'll see me doing here adding in my flour a bit at a time. All right, that is mixed in. I'm going to use my hand blender also just to make sure that everything is mixed well. And then I'm going to go ahead and just um, knead my dough right there inside the bowl. I'm not gonna dump it out on the counter just yet. I have my greased bowl here that I'm going to transfer my ball of dough over into and I'm going to cover it and let it sit and proof up for a while, about 10 minutes, and then I will come back to it. While it is proofing up, I'm going to go ahead and mix up my filling. In this bowl here, you see me with half a cup of butter. I'm still using salted butter here. Room temperature, I have three-fourths cup of dark brown sugar. I have one-fourth cup of maple syrup, and I'm using a bit of cinnamon. I'm in my um, filling, I'm adding about, I think I used about maybe a, a teaspoon and a half, maybe two teaspoons of the cinnamon. And I also brewed up some coffee, so I put in um, a teaspoon and a half of coffee. That's just because I wanted to. So here, yeah, I have two and a half teaspoons of cinnamon poured up, but I'm only using a touch here in my filling and the remainder of the cinnamon I'm going to use to coat the top of my, my dough before I actually roll it up. All right, so here you can see that my dough has doubled in size, so it is ready for me to go ahead and roll it out. Dusting my countertop here. Now 
You can roll your dough to the thickness that you prefer, but of course, if you've watched my channel, you know that I don't like my dough to be that thick. So I rolled it out pretty thin, but not really, really thin. So just enough to give it a good thickness when I actually roll it into a log. Here I'm just cutting the edges off to give it some um, uniformity here when I get ready to actually cut the rolls. And here I'm adding my filling. This is what you just saw me mix up the filling with my maple syrup, sugar, and butter and coffee. I'm using all of it and you wanna make sure every bit of it is coated. You want to try and cover every bit of your of your dough. Let me take a sip of water. My voice is going. Sorry, guys. All right, so here you see the cinnamon that I was telling you about. I'm using the remainder of it. And my raisins. You can add raisins or you can leave them out. It's totally up to you. Or you can use another filling of your choice, but I thought the raisins would be a nice touch to this cinnamon roll. All right, so now here you see me rolling up my log and um, you want to roll it snug, but not too tight because if you roll it too tight, it doesn't give it much room for it to take shape when it's time for it to proof up and bake it'll it'll like poke out so that's not what you want so kind of you know just be careful when you are forming your log and this is pretty much what it should look like the end pieces you can leave off if you like but i'm not i'm going to use every bit of this log and i'll make it fit i'll make it work All right, so moving along here, doing pretty well. And as you can see here, when I place them in the pan, I am letting them touch because I want to make sure that they proof up and not have too much of a space in between so that they are able to just look nice when they bake up. That's what I'm going for. So I've covered them and let them proof and they are now ready. But before I put them in the oven, what I'm doing just to make sure that I can keep moisture in my um, cinnamon roll, I'm adding heavy cream to it. And this cream is, it's like it's warm, it's not cold. So you wanna make sure if you use this, if you do this part, that you have your cream at a warm temperature not hot, but warm. And um, you're going to saturate your cinnamon rolls and just let it sit until it actually soaks up all of that goodness. That's what you're wanting to do. As you're looking at the frame here, you'll be able to see the difference and be able to tell that it has soaked up pretty much all of the, of the liquid. Here, this is what it should look like. So now it's ready for the oven. And while it is baking, I'm baking them at 350 degrees. I'm mixing up now my um, icing while the cinnamon rolls are in the oven. And I have six tablespoons of cream cheese, six tablespoons of salted butter. Still, I'm using salted butter and um, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract and two cups of powdered sugar is what I'm using here for my icing. Pretty simple to make, not anything too difficult. And there you have it. Just like that, your icing. All right, guys. I let these cook for 30 minutes. If you have been watching my channel, you know how hot my oven can get. 
So I was watching them as they baked and um, I gotta say I'm pleased with them. I did let them cool down and um, here I'm just testing to see if it's cool enough to go ahead and add my icing without it being too hot and um, it is good to go. So we are now icing these babies up and I am pleased with these guys. They smell so good. These came out really nice. This is my first time making cinnamon rolls because I just don't, I don't eat like that. But now that I have this cooking channel, I find myself trying different things and um, I'm liking it. I gotta tell you, I'm really liking it. So these are my cinnamon rolls, guys. Let me know what you think. I think they look just gorgeous and they taste so good. I mean, when I tasted these, I was like, I can't believe this is the cinnamon roll that I made. It's delicious. I hope you can tell by looking at this frame just how good these are. I mean, just look at them. I don't think I could have done a better job if I had tried. These are, these are really good, guys. Not to pat myself on the back, but these are good. I recommend you try this recipe and let me know what you think. Look at this. And like I said, the raisins, the raisins is what set it off. So you might wanna add those in there if you, if you try this recipe. But these are good. I don't even eat sweets like that, but I ate a whole cinnamon roll. This is delicious. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.